All right, finer detail. So now we're going to look at cracks, crevices, grooves, and just making this thing look a lot more organic. So I do not need hardly any of this over here. And I'd just like to make a lot of room here. Okay, just going to go up to four. No need to overkill it. And then another thing I have to do now is get rid of wireframe. So first thing I do is do a little F draw and I get kind of used to putting this down, getting all my brushes set up. Again, symmetry is mirrored. Just kind of touch the model a little bit. Have Control Z handy. Now here's the subtract form. So I can go in here and subtract it if I wanted to. So I can really kind of distance that, that bump in there. Okay, so that brush functions quite well. Now I'll use that a lot, and I also use flatten. So I'm gonna get my flatten brush to function. And what I'm doing is kind of flattening out from this to there, just to get it rounded back up a little bit. Okay. Also, I'm going to work on these. So, switching between F draw, just adding and flattening. right here allows me to turn down the stroke. So sometimes I'll have it real small, then add a little bit. Okay, and then when I get too out of hand, I go back to flatten. I'll start flattening out this. It's a lot of rotating. It's a lot of watching me do this. So. And I'm just looking for things that don't technically look right. So. Oh, that looks a lot better already. Now, on a normal skull, this would be hollow in that region. I chose not to do that just for the fact that I want it to be a solid mesh.
So I'm just going to kind of push this stuff in a little bit to give it that illusion. Then I'm going to grab my other brush that I use all the time, smooth. Just kind of smooth that out. So if it gets too out of hand, I can keep doing that over and over again. I'll, I'll flatten it, smooth it, push it. But I don't want the polygons to get all mashed up. That's when it gets really bad and you can't generate any good maps from it. And you'll find that if things have good topology, they sculpt so much better. Like in this area, if this if this skull was made out of, let's say, not um, a good topology model, I would never be able to get this kind of detail in this area. There we go, that's already looking better. Uh, let's fix this nose. It's bothering me. So I might go down a level to fix the nose. And you can see you can hop back and forth between levels too. So in this case, I want to hop back down to two just to move things as a big broad. And then I can hop back up to one or up to a higher level and it affects it. Subtract more of these eyes. So I'll add some texture back here. Take away from the actual eyes, this right in this area. And then in that area, I need to smooth it out just a little bit. And this is what I'm talking about as far as technique-based learning. I'm just talking here. <laughs> but I am showing you the brushes and you know the brushes that I like using. Those, I could have just did a video about using grab, flatten, smooth, and draw, though, and you would have got the same concepts. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit of texture back here. Good, good. Add a little bit to this nose. There's a bone in here. So what I'm going to do is try to carve a little bit into this so I can get representation of that bone. might not be perfect. It should be probably another piece of the model. But I'm just going to get somewhat in there interesting looking bone. It's a lot of drawing. It's a lot of flattening, a lot of smoothing. Don't do it all at once. OK, 
Okay, another brush, pinch. I like using pinch. For smooth. Smooth it out just a little bit. Then you can pinch it. I just want some texture back here. And I might have to add another piece of the model back there later on. Because I don't want to screw up the polygons too much. Okay, let's go back down a level or two. If I seriously want some kind of really good area in there, I can go back to edit mode and then grab the edges in this area and then move them out. That's unlike any 3D application when it comes down to sculpting. Okay, and the next one, preview two. Now, the only bad thing is you only get a couple previews. You get the preview in edit mode, see? So I don't get the higher res stuff. But that's okay. I can pull this out as far as I can get it, and it'll probably smooth out quite well. There we go. See? So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is subtract back instead of add. go and smooth and smooth can be turned down quite a bit there we go so better but I'm going to jump off the nose here so we can go on with the rest of the skull and then later on I'll put a I'll a 3D piece in here representing the nose. Okay, there we go. Good enough. So it's already starting to function well. well right here, I need this little bit, this little thing right here. I'll just draw that in. So piece right there. Make this attach a little bit better. Flatten it out. So a lot of this is blending one form into the next. And as a skull goes, you know, skulls are pretty complex 
things. I love using the flatten brush. It just adds so much little tiny texture to it. There we go. Okay, now, finer detail. I'm going to switch to another video because this is getting 16 minutes in. So let's go to Sculpt 2.